Hi there and welcome to week eight of the British Hand Welfare Trust Home School Activities. This week's activity is nice and sporty and it's called Chicken Run. Okay, so hens may not seem like the most sporty of animals, however, they can actually give us a run for our money. And we'll learn a little bit more about that in a minute. Okay, now before we start, we are actually going to measure our heart rate, okay? Because when we exercise, our heart rate changes. So first of all, you're gonna measure your resting heart rate. So the way to do that, okay, is to get your two fingers and you can place them on your wrist like that, okay? Now you might need an adult to help you with this. It can be quite tricky and you need to move your finger around until you find your pulse, okay? So that'll be a little boom, 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 boom. Okay, and when you feel that, as soon as you found it, you can start counting and time for a minute. Okay, and that number at the end of that minute is your resting heart rate. Now it does vary from person to person, but the average is between 50 and 80 beats per minute for a resting heart rate in humans. Now, a heart rate in a chicken is between 220 and 300 beats per minute, so so much faster. You can imagine their tiny little hearts beating away really, really quickly. Okay, it's amazing. That's why their lives seem to go a million miles an hour. Okay, so as we said, we're gonna do some sporting activities. After you've done exercise, your heart rate will increase, okay? So at the end of the activity, you can test your heart rate again, okay, and see if that has gone up, okay? If you've done some really good exercise, it should be much, much faster as your body is working harder to get oxygen around your body. Okay, now talking about hens and how sporty they are, Okay, hens belong to the family that includes pheasants and turkeys, so lots of birds that spend a lot of their time on the ground, okay? So that means they are much better at running than they are at flying, okay? Now chickens can run at around nine miles per hour, okay? So that's about 14 and a half kilometers an hour, okay? Now we can actually run a bit faster than chickens, but they are actually more agile than us, and that means they can turn corners really quickly. So if any of you have ever tried catching a chicken, you'll know how difficult it can be. And that's because they can turn faster than us to get away, even if we are quicker than them on a straight. Okay, now hens aren't known for their flying and you will never see one soaring above you in the sky, okay? And that is because they are actually just, they're pretty rubbish at flying. And in fact, the longest ever recorded flight for a chicken was just 13 seconds and the hen traveled about 300 feet, so that's less than 100 meters. So I bet if you marked out 100 meters in your garden, you would actually be able to run faster than that chicken flew. Okay, so give that a go. Can you run faster than a chicken flies? Okay, give yourself that little challenge as an extra one today. Okay, now another sporting activity that chickens just love is actually dancing. Okay, now it's not the girls that do this, it's actually the boys. So the cockerels are almost like professional dancers, okay? Now they take part in a dance called titbitting, okay? So titbitting is where uh, they will bob their head up and down, okay, in an effort to impress the ladies, okay? So they'll do this to the hens and they'll pick up bits of food and drop them in front of the hen to try and really impress her and show how big and strong and helpful they are as well. So hopefully they can have some chicks together, okay? So they are really good dancers, very professional, okay? And they do need to keep practicing because the hens are very picky. So they don't impress them then they won't have chicks with them it's that simple so they've got to get really really good okay up there dancing so as well as running they're great at dancing not so good at flying okay now in today's task we've got loads of fun chicken themed activities for you to take part in in your garden or in your park when you go outside for your exercise okay but the most important thing to remember is you need to warm up and cool down okay when you're taking part in any form of sporting activity. So that's about raising your heart rate, okay? Making sure enough oxygen is pumping around your body uh, so that your body doesn't get sore or tired or damage any muscles, okay? So make sure you have a nice little run beforehand, a nice slow jog, okay? Do some stretching as well before taking part to make sure you don't injure yourself, okay? And again, at the end, a nice little slow jog to cool down as well, okay? So I hope you enjoy taking part in those chickeny activities. We'd love to see how you get on. Uh, so if you do any timings, please send them in to us, okay? As well, if you film yourself doing these chicken activities, we'd absolutely love to see them and share them with other people. So please send them in, okay? And we'll be back next week for even more chickeny activities. Thank you.